Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we talk about what if Deku had a Digimon so in the last video Deku well well after the whole hero versus villain battle or little test they started going to the USG but during the USG they were attacked by the League of Villains but not called the League of Villains they're called the Human and Digimon Alliance so when they got teleported by Konigiri, they were teleported into the, well, into the the area where, well, sea or um, water-based quirk users um, train. Izuku is with, well, Elizabeth and Froppy, but they were attacked by several different, well, Devimon, specifically Sky Devimon and Marine Devimon. And they were being commanded by this girl by the name of Rose, which she's able to transform into a Digimon. So, Izuku stopped her by using, well, his Digimon. And then after that, well, she was captured and decided to surrender. Because, well, she said, and I quote, didn't want to become a villain anymore. So, yeah. So, during the scuffle, they see... Well, saw so Aizawa being attacked by a Rhinomon, and Izuku summoned out the final forms of, well, of Nemesis Agumon and Nemesis Gabumon, which were called, well, this. Which were, well, Infernal Greymon and Paradiso Garumon. So, after that whole scuffle, well, they were sent to the principal's office to basically explain what the heck were those things. So, yeah, that was the cliffhanger last time. So, yeah, so let's talk about what happens next. So, All Might basically said this to Izuku and Elizabeth. He says, So, mind telling me what were those creatures that you summoned? And what, what, and what the heck did you just do? They were abnormal. I never seen anything like it. Wait for a second, guys, again. Oh, shit. As Izuku says, sorry, I won't tell. Besides, it's our boss's, well. Well, I don't want to prefer to not, well, spill out some information. As All Might says, why? As Izuku says, well. It's important, and besides, you're below us. As he says, what did you say? I'm the number one hero of Japan, and you don't say that to, well, the number one hero. Wait for a second. As Izuku says, sorry, it's just, it's Yggdrasil's orders. As one of the heroes being, well, Inko Midoriya, aka the Green. And Vicky says, who is Yggdrasil? As for Elizabeth, she says, come on boss, maybe let them go into the, well, into the digital world. As Izuku says, no. As All Might hears this, as he says, digital world. Well, then, allow me to ask you this. If you don't tell us, well, we're going to be bringing you to, well, we're going to be bringing you to, to a certain place. You might have heard of it. A special jail for horrible people. It's called Tartarus. As Izuku says, <sighs> fine, but you're not allowed to tell anybody, only yourselves so the rest of the heroes were basically kind of afraid for what they're going to be seeing so Izuku opens a portal to the digital world as everybody goes in including well Dezu which he's interested as when they get out the portal they see well Idrisil the giant, well, well, what do you call it? The giant supercomputer. As Idrisil says, Ah, 
you must be the well the inhabitant of the human world the name's Yggdrasil the ruler of this server and if you don't know well in the poco I meant um digital um well in the digital world there's several different well digital worlds or servers to be if you want to call them they basically have different worlds um, governed by different people like for example there's a, a another like server that's governed by the well Olympus 12 or another one that's um, recited by the well what are they called um, and another one that's presided by or at least protected by by the Deva and if you don't know what are the Deva well watch Digimon Tamers I think it was called I can't remember the name so anyway one of them being Miracle says whoa what what the heck as he says this as in he says I mean well Yggdrasil Yggdrasil says so I wonder you humans you're the only people that seem to reside in the human world but not only that there's also animals like that thing over there on your shoulder as Gawa says you mean Nezu as Nezu says so for the little knights right as no, just the leader. As in leader, I mean the provider. The actual leader is Izuku. As everybody looks at Izuku, Izuku says, Yeah, <laughs> I was abandoned when I was a child. Do you even know that feeling? And not only that, my foster father, the Yozamon, was killed by Lusamon. As one of them being, while well, Inko says, Wait, who is this Lusamon? Izuku says, One of the seven demon lords. As in seven, I mean six. Because the Yozamon used to be one of them, but decided to, well, defect. Because he only believed in justice. But. Lusamon and the rest of the demon lords believe in injustice. So he sacrificed himself to basically protect me. So that's why I only joined this team to get my revenge on Lusamon. As one of them being, well, All Might says, but why did you join UA? As Izuku says, well, Aegisil told me that well one of you guys or at least the villains of your world specifically one his name was i believe was o for one i believe as all might hears that as he says wait o for one azuka says yeah o for one is working with lusamon and that is why i'm gonna find him kill him and then Lusamon, ending the cycle of chaos. As All Might says this, why are you gonna kill him? He's just, as Izuka says, shut up, All Might. I'm much more superior than you. And if you're trying to fight me or the other royal knights, well, Izuku creates his, well, railgun and points it at All Might. As he says, he's integrated. Got that scum. As the rest of the heroes basically start backing up a little bit. As Izuku says, Alright, let's go back to the human world. That's enough, well, exposition. As for, well, Elizabeth, she says, Alright, bye. So, Izuku creates the portal as... Everybody starts going in, but except for Nezu. Nezu says, So, Mr. Yggdrasil, I wanted to ask. Can you give me any information about this Lusamon character? And the relationship with, well, all for one. 
he basically, well, Ejusto basically told Nezu about everything about Lucimon and also the other seven demon lords. As in seven, I mean six because, well, Beelzemon basically defective. So, yeah. So, Nezu goes back into the portal as they go back to the human world. As Izuku leaves, including, well, Elizabeth, as when they're leaving, well, Inko, well, kind of, well, recognizes Izuku for some reason. His green hair, and kind of looks like hers, but not really, because, well, it's a little bit more darker thanks to the, well, the dark hair that he got in from, well, Beelzemon after Izuku absorbed this data many years ago. So, yeah. So, after that whole thing, Izuku goes back to, well, the, well, the crappy apartment. Izuku was in the, well, in the balcony. In the balcony, Izuku is basically, well, looking at the stars, thinking in his mind, Ugh, this is so shitty. As, or, well, Elizabeth, she says, Hey, Izuku, do you want to go to sleep? Izuku says, Yeah, I'll be going to sleep later. As she says, Oh, okay. I prepared your, well, um, bed. As she says, Good night. So, she starts going to sleep. But for Izuku, he's still looking up in the stars. Thinking that, well, that why did his parents basically, well, left them, or at least his mother. But when Izuku remembered about, well, Inko, it, Izuku thought that it was weird that she had green hair and green eyes. Izuku thought that she would be, well, well, Izuku thought that it would be her mother, aka Izuku's mother, anyway. She, I meant he says to himself, hmm, she does look like me, at least a little bit. Ugh, probably a coincidence. So, Izuku goes to bed. So, wait for a second, guys. So, it's, well, there's no, well, school today because, well, that whole incident in the, well, USJ was a bit traumatizing for, well, for Class 1A. So, while Izuku was, well, well, training a little bit in the park, Izuku got in a message from UA, basically saying that they're going to be, um, well, making dorms for everybody. So, Izuku tells, well, Elizabeth this, as Elizabeth says, hmm, interesting, maybe we should go there, as Elizabeth, I meant Izuku says, yeah, this crappy apartment is already trash enough, especially with these rats, as she says, yeah, so, they start packing all of their things, say goodbye to, well, well, Elizabeth's neighbors, as they started going to, well, do a high. So, after they made it to the dorms, Izuku basically sees, well, Reiko first. As Reiko basically says, oh, hey, Izuku. And Izuku says, hey, Reiko. As Reiko says, mm, I'm... Why are you so close? As Izuku says, oh, nothing. So, where's your room? As she says, oh, it's right over there. Guess we'll be roomies, I guess. As she says, yeah. So, Izuku basically packs all of his things. As in pack, I mean uh, unpack. And basically um, puts all of his stuff in the, well, in the same room as Reiko. Because they're going to be now, they're going to be roomies. So, after unpacking, Izuku basically sees, well, Rose, which, if you don't remember, she was the girl that, well, that was fighting with them in the USJ, and Izuku says, wait, wait, as she says, wait, 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 don't worry, I'm a hero now, 
Ezekiel says, what? As one, well, Libet sees this, as she's, she thinks in her mind, wait, that villain, she starts charging in and basically starts attacking her, as she says, don't worry, I'm not going to be a villain anymore, besides, I decided, I decided to basically, well, join the school, because, well, <laughs> my records are pretty horrible, but some of these people want me to, well, become a hero, because, well, it would clear my records, I guess. So, Izuku says, sure, but no funny business. As she says, oh, come on, help your, well, help a person out, mate. As Izuku says, mate. As she says, oh, yeah, I'm half British. <laughs> So, I kind of have a British accent, I guess. <laughs> As Izuku says, Fine, whatever. So, she starts going into her room, which is right in, Well, she's roomies with, well, Elizabeth. As Elizabeth says, Wait, we're gonna be roomies? As she says, Yep. <sighs> so, yeah, wait for a second. So, when everybody basically arrives, as in everybody, I mean Izuku's classmates, everybody's basically, well, excited to be, well, um, in the, well, the dorms, especially Bakugo, because, well, absolutely hates his mother. So, yeah. So, everybody goes to sleep in their respective rooms. As for Izuku, he's getting ready to go to sleep, as Reko says. Hey, Izuku. As Izuku says, what is it, Reiko? As Reiko says, well, um, I'm, well, afraid of the dark. Izuku says, wait, you're afraid of the dark? I thought you would probably like the dark. As she says, N no. As Izuku says, sure, then what should we do? Get a nightlight? As she says, no. Can I sleep with you? As Izuku says, Oh. Okay. So, Izuku basically, well, goes into his bed, and Riku basically makes some space for herself, as she says, Your bed feels soft, Izuku. As Izuku says, Um, this is a bit cramped. I feel, well, um, as she says, don't worry. She falls asleep pretty quickly. As for Izuku, Izuku's trying not to basically, well, shriek. Because, well, well, sh um, no, I, I didn't say anything, um, internet. I didn't say, like, a, a bad word. I didn't say that. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so, wait for a second. Izuku can't sleep because, well, he's sleeping right next to a girl. And if you're basically saying in the comments, he's been sleeping right next to a girl for his uh, whole life. As in whole life, I mean, well, um, ever since he came to the human world. No, that's not technically meaning that he's, like, afraid. Uh, he's basically, well, well, sleeping on the floor. But for Elizabeth, she's sleeping on the bed. So, yeah, it doesn't count. So, Izuku is basically, well, trying, well, to sleep. Because Reiko's sleeping right next to him. Well, he can't go to sleep. So, yeah. When Izuku finally feels kind of sleepy, he falls to sleep. So, yeah. So, I hope you liked the video. Comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.